the Florida State Seminoles, and man, do I want good things to happen for Mike Novell. Obviously, two Memphis guys here. He did outstanding things with the Memphis program, but to come in for your first P5 head coaching job and have COVID hit right then, and you can't get your chemistry down with your players because you're having miscommunication issues, like all kinds of problems, that that locker room had become a problem. Maybe when Jimbo was still there, and it certainly did not get any better under Willie Taggart, and then Norvell had to kind of try to find a way to rally the troops. And I don't know how well it worked. So, with that said, there's a bunch of dudes that left, and they got a bunch of new incoming guys. I mean, they got some they got some depth guys, P5 transfers coming in this year. Uh, McKenzie Milton, of course, quarterback coming in. Now, it could be either him or Jordan Travis, depending on, you know, I think Milton's going to be healthy enough. I think we're going to see some good things out of him. Is he going to be the same McKenzie Milton? Who knows? Probably not. I mean, he hadn't played in three years. So, like, and, and they almost had to amputate his leg. I mean, my God, the fact he's playing, it's like the Alex Smith thing all over again. So, it, while it's fun to see him, like, who knows what to expect out of this. Uh, you know, the defensive coordinator, like, he's going to have to find some help. Like, it, And they did bring in a bunch of transfers to do that. But this this unit's a work in progress. Uh, the offense, again, still a work in progress. I trust Norvell to be able to get points. But this program, like, they got momentum. But this schedule... Man, this schedule is tough to build some of that momentum on the field. Uh, the win total is 5.5. To go over is minus 140. To go under is plus 110. While I want good things for them, SP Plus has got them going 5-7. and seven. FBI has got them going 6-6. Six and six. I look at this schedule, and I think it is hard as hell to get to a bowl game. Like, I, I've got them going under 5.5 at plus 110. I don't, I, I don't see them getting to six wins with this. So I think I it's going to be really tough. I do. I do. Um, I, I'm going to go over. Um, I think the floor is five wins. And 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 can they win a coin flip game against an NC State or a Louisville? Sure. BC? Sure. I mean, they, they do get to avoid uh, – no, never mind. No, got, they play North Carolina and Clemson. They got North Carolina, Clemson, and Miami. And, uh, they and Notre Dame at, and at Boston College. But, yep. but uh, hang on now. Would it surprise me if Mike Norvell upsets Miami? Maybe not. I mean, it, it, yeah, he's completely capable of upsetting somebody. Yeah, I mean, you might be right. I just, uh, it's tough. It, it's I so just hard. Need to, I just need him to have one upset and beat the teams you're supposed to beat. Yeah. That's it. Okay. okay. And, and there's a world where I don't even need him to do that. Some of these teams just aren't as good as projected and just beat all the teams that you're favored over. Okay, okay. I can get with it. I can get with it. Um, so I'm going under. You're going over. I'll go over. That will move. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.